Hello and welcome to Now We Can See It. We've had a very busy weekend actually. You know, what do you take in the caravan? What do you pack? What don't you take? What can you take out from previous trips? So we've shuffled around quite a lot and today we went to Kmart and for just a fraction under $500, what I'm going to show you now, all the different storage ideas, um, I'm hoping it will help you also. So first of all, one of my favourite things is up in this cupboard, we have bought a lot of these particular containers. Now this is the branding on them. They are Anco food storage containers. As you can see, they are ultra clear. So whether you've got something in them or you don't, it's still a really good idea to put them in there because that one, you're storing them away and two, you know what you can buy on the grocery order to fill your cupboards up rather than over buying and then not having anywhere to put stuff. So that's a really good idea and we'll show you a little bit later on. We've also got them stacked throughout our fridge so that we can see everything extremely clearly all the way through. DVDs, we've had this in here ever since we've started and that has always worked and we've not changed that. So that's a perfect thing when you've got a DVD TV or TV with DVDs and and children. We, in our instance, we've got the one daughter that loves watching videos and I love watching miniseries such as Call the Midwife. I ran into the kitchen. This was another one of my favourite things. When we've been cooking for the last 12 months and we use the oven... Um, and cook inside the van quite a lot. You know, a lot of people say they don't cook inside their van. It makes the van smell. Totally disagree. You know, I cook just like I do at home. So if I want to bake a cake or I want to cook something, I do cook steak, sausages and things like that though outside on the Weber. So up in here, just these little nooks and crannies where, you know, like where we've got all of the Wi-Fi stuff. We're going to get, I've got, I'm sourcing a container that fits in there perfectly. So that will be our little sungra sunglass area. Tumblers go in this one and over in this one we've got our plates, coffee cup, I'm sorry, coffee cups and plates and up the top is for baking. So back around to the kitchen, um, just over here on the wall in the kitchen is, we got this from Bunnings. So I can't remember exactly, I think the tray was about $63. Now let me tell you. The grip on that is amazing. That is not going to come off. These here, tea, coffee, and that will be sugar. These I have Velcroed on. So they are not going to move when you're traveling. And you can take them off and you can wash them up. So they're sitting there ready to go. I used to take everything, pack everything away, try and find spots for everything that I had on the benches. And that was really quite difficult at pack up and set up. Everything felt cluttered. So if it was a rainy day and everything had, and we were trying to sit in here, I had stuff everywhere. So now everything has a home, everything has a space. And these can just stay exactly like that because they're all Velcroed on. So that is not going to move anywhere when we're traveling. And also from Bunnings, these, um, the black rack that I just showed you is actually Fusion is the, uh, the brand of the suction. So there's a couple of different types that they have and I find that the Fusion one is a lot stronger and this is another one and once again, you know, like that is really on there very, very strong. It's a pump one so it's not a matter of just um, suctioning it on, you actually have to pump the suction into it so it, it takes quite a bit. The other little thing, tea towels. One little thing, I love to keep things neat and tidy, you may have picked that up by now. Um, and even hanging stuff that doesn't match in my caravan, I like to have stuff. That, so I've just popped that in there. So there's two tea towels in there and a hook for something else that you might need. So just to take it out and then just to shove it in. Perfect for tea towels. Okay, moving around to the bedroom slash cupboards. This was one thing I really didn't know what to do with it and... I used to fold all our clothes up and you're always in a rush and you do your washing and you just want to chuck stuff in, but you want it to look neat and tidy. So these are brilliant. Not that I can reach much. So for example, shorts in one, shirts in another. I put medicines up in behind there so they're not things that we're going to use a lot. And also little things like, um, I guess, extra Velcro, sticky tape, uh, hooks. Keys. Alan Keys, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Alan Keys, so we've got a little bit of 
just odd bods up in the back of there as well. Um, over in the side is, we haven't finished as you can see, one will be for socks, one will be for jocks. So you can slide them right out and just shove your, chuck your socks and your jocks in. Oh, well, he's already got his socks up in that one. Um, and then lots of camera and camera gear. Jason has a lot of camera gear, so he'll do a lot of camera gear. And we'll put some little hooks to hang, you know, curl leads up and put leads in. You could roll belts up and put belts up in these. So whatever it is that you have that you need to use, you can use. So once again, all of these were from Kmart as well. We did have these as hanging rails. They just did not work very well and you could not fit a lot in them. So we've decided against that. Now down here on the side, just over beside the bed, we did have underwear and socks in here, but it just really wasn't quite big enough for us. So what we've done on Jason's side of the bed is camera gear, loose change, GoPro stuff, batteries, whatever it is that you need. In these, once again, are just little um, compartments. You get the two plus a lid. From Kmart so they're makeup holders so brilliant for just just fit the area perfectly size wise for us in there and down it's very difficult to see but I'll get out of the way but down underneath um, under underneath the bed is I think they're called they go over your doors so over the top of your doors and then you can hang a lot of stuff on them like um, belts and coats and towels so we've just put one over there and I'll so down underneath the bedside drawer um, just an awkward tiny little cupboard so I've got some books stacked up in there but also part of our Kmart purchase these with lids haven't got anything in them yet but I'm sure I'll find something to stash in there whether that be chocolate or whatever else to go in there but they fit perfectly in that little cupboard down under there and then they stack really well Okay, bedside cupboard. There is all of these. So I'll just give you a little idea on what I have stacked in to this cupboard and what I'm going to use in here. And obviously it's a work in progress because I've got to bring my makeup in from outside, upstairs. But lots, as you can see, Lots and lots of storage ideas. More jewellery. And then I've got handbags at the back. And then I've got my hat. Ta-da! Just like that. <laughs> and my speaker can go just in there. So that's that. And of course I'll have one of these for shirts. One of these for shorts and je or shirts and sh shirts and shorts in here because about um, four outfits, I guess, four summer outfits and four winter outfits. <laughs> Our winter gear will go under the bed in summer and vice versa as seasons change. So, you know, that's that's plenty for four summer outfits or four winter outfits. A couple of upcoming things is the caravan keys that you get. Big bundle of keys. We're going to show you what to do with those coming up. We're going to go through the vanity and what we're going to do in the bathroom to save space. And give everything a home. So there's not always somewhere that you're looking to just shove something here or shove something there. We found, we tried two or three different ideas for our cutlery. We had a cutlery holder, which was a beautiful timber one that we then used to just sit on the bench and put it down onto the lounge when we travelled. We've just tried long flat containers. But what we've done now is I've designated drawers for cutlery and utensils. So um, we used to have a beautiful big utensil holder and we'd put that on the lounge when we'd travel and then we'd sit it up on the bench. So now, once again, just from Kmart, are these beautiful clear holders and it just seems to fit our space perfectly we've only got a small area in our kitchen so we need to be really um, space wise with that so and beside that you know fits all of our alfoil and baking paper etc etc in there the cutlery the cutlery one and lots of other little things toothpicks straws graters fire lighters so that's in drawer two and the bottom one is tablecloths and tea towels so I've got two new tea towels hanging up and then I've just got two more tea towels in the bottom drawer so we were I went way overboard when we first started that was jam-packed and we really used only the top few layers so I've taken a lot of that out these little ones here are just for little odd bod stuff that you really don't have room for so you know money coin drops to start up 
drops to stop heartburn fantastic if you'd like to have a glass of wine um, remote controls and just little odd bods that you just think where can I put those now under the sink was an area that we worked on also today and from Kmart one of the long trays and we've just got in their batteries and there's more room in there yet um, and our fly sprays and we'll put some cleaning items in there when we stack it up so that everything can just come in and out with ease and then beside that I've got my cutting boards etc etc down there so there's a few cutting boards down there down the bottom I've just got some nice stubby coolers I've also got our first aid kit and our fire blanket you use our oven a lot it's cold or it's wet and you don't want to cook outside cooking in your oven will warm your van up beautifully so under here where the pump is I've just got my Woolworths bags in there so I've got somewhere just to put those little things and then this cupboard this little side cupboard which when we purchased the van someone said to us oh you know don't get a slide out pantry if you get a slide out pantry as you're traveling along everything falls down to the bottom we thought that sounds a, that sounds you know a good idea and obvious so we didn't get a slide out pantry big mistake so there we had shelving requested to put shelving in so what we've come up with is these I don't know what you call them they were from Bunnings so I've got all of my tins in there so I can see at ease whatever it is that I'm cooking so it has worked out really well in the long run that mistake has worked out quite well and down here just a few plastic things for when you're wanting to cook in the microwave or, or whatever as well so coming up next we will show you what we've done in our fridge um, to ta make use of your fridge so that you can see everything clearly and you can reach everything without things going to the backs of the fridge. So that'll come up in our next video when we've done that. We haven't quite finished that today. Uh, and I'll also show you what we're doing in our daughter's bunk. Bunk beds in our caravan are 2100 long and quite wide, like 700 wide. So it's quite a big bunk for a little person. I can lay up in there. I'm only short, but I can still lay up in there and I've put two great big cubes at the end of it which are about a foot square and at the end of the bunk she can have um you know like all of her toys etc at the end to stop her going all the way down um, so coming up in the next episode we will show you our daughter's area where she sleeps i haven't Hello. got to that today hello gracie um and a few tricks and hacks for up in there if you've got bunk beds in your caravan so that will help so thank you very much for watching i hope some of these little hacks and tricks and storage ideas has helped you um if you can get something from any of our videos that's fantastic coming up also will be a walk around of the outside of our van and the hatches and what we've done on the outside for good little tricks for traveling as well so thank you all very much happy traveling and we look forward to seeing you on the road please make sure you knock on our door now we can see it you can see it on the van quite easily we'd love to catch up for a glass of wine drink a beer cocktail or two cup of tea coffee whatever Thank you. Bye.